Today I'm going to be flying the Foxtech H Wing with the DJI digital FPV system on it. I have flown it before and uh, it's absolutely wonderful. Love flying it like this. Lovely view straight up at the sky. Nice bird flying over the top there. Uh, I will also mount my camera on different places around the uh, H Wing and get some onboard footage. Okay, here we go. Taking off now. Bit of wind and it does lean into the wind. Position hold. There we go. Forward a bit. We've got to go up to 30 metres before we can get it into uh, wing mode or, yeah, wing mode. 18, 20, 21, 20, 30 now. Now we should be able to stick it into wing mode. There we go. And we're flying. So goggles down. And yeah, look at that view. Turns are very nicely sort of coordinated turns. That's just using uh, aileron there now. Not touching the throttle stick. Leaning into the wind, so that's rudder there doing absolutely nothing. So, all aileron, bit of elevator there. Elevator just gains height, I think. Nice big curvy turn, heading back towards me. Oh, what a spectacular view! Turning out to the left again. So it's very stabilised, uh, quite limited in its um, movements, I suppose. That's full aileron there, full aileron back the other way, uh, pushing right down, and it seems to be limited. Now you can set a, a safe height, it's set at 30 metres at the moment, so you can't flip it into wing mode below 30 metres, I don't think. I did manage to get into a stall the other day and it just recovered by itself. It detected the abnormal attitude and just flicked into um, return to home mode, into quad mode and saved itself basically. So very cool. So I'm just nudging it around using the aileron stick here, maintaining altitude. So this is holding throttle right down I think it's just slowing down a bit and pointing up a little bit as you can see that's central it's going faster now oh yeah so it does actually respond to throttle that's all very cool so now I'll hit return to home and it should come back now and I've found if there's any wind it's better to land it manually flick it out of return to home <coughs> uh, so that it's not leaning forward as it comes down to land because it'll just fall over so here it comes should flick into quad mode around about now there we go and descend but uh, I will it's rotating around coming down of course you can't see this Okay, I've got control now, dropping the throttle. This way I can control the, the landing a lot better. Cool, there you go. That is awesome. And you can see the track on the screen there. I don't know why I've got no video. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, try and mount the run cam on it to get some footage of it actually flying. So that one's just mounted on the belly, some Velcro there, a strap going through that little hatch uh, the receiver is in under there. Um, bent up piece of PVC plastic and that holds it at a 45 degree angle so you can see a bit of the ground and a bit of the sky. <laughs>
Now for this view I printed up a 3D printed sort of leading edge mount I suppose and just taped that onto the onto the wing uh, run can there. I'm gonna have to balance it on the other side of course with a counterweight. Are we recording? No. Let's get it recording. Seems to be going okay. All right, so this one, I've just taped that pole on there. This will give us a good view. Coming back off the ground. Might be pretty wobbly. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Well, we did it. Might have made some funny noises, but um... so that was cool. It might as well making some funny noises, but um, let's see how the footage turned out. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.